This is on my shirt, but it is what it is. Hi, Pam. Thanks for joining. Hopefully, we going to pray that this video is good and that I like it and it stays up. I'm just going to wait for a few more people to come in, and then we are going to start. We are going to start. I don't know what this is. Yeah. I'm not sure. So today, um, we're going to be talking dye sublimation wood um, from my sublimation blanks collection. So I'm so happy to show y'all how you can create super cute gifts projects using the sublimation wood. Um, I'm going to let a few more people come in before I continue. But how are you guys doing? Did everybody have a good Mother's Day, like, what's up? Talk to me in the comments. Everybody is having a good Thursday. What's going on with everybody? I can't see who's joining um, unless you guys come in and say hello. Say hello. So I'm going to wait for a few more people to come in, and then we're going to get started. <clears throat> So y'all want to look at my couch. You can look at that little view over there. Hello from Michigan. Happy Mother's Day. Hello, Michigan. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Your name is Shameen Hill. Hello, Angela Barry. Good evening. Thank y'all so much for tuning in today. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Okay, so I'm going to wait for a few more people to come in and then we're going to get started. I think this is deodorant right here, y'all. <laughs> Jesus. Hello from Savannah, Georgia. Sonia. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm happy to have y'all here from all over. Having a great day. Did a boba balloon arrangement for someone for Mother's Day. It came out awesome. Oh my goodness, Pam. Do you mind posting it in the group so we can see it? That would be fantastic. Those boba balloons have a mind of their own. Boy, I tell you. Woo! Woo hoo hoo! Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Dibs. What's good, sis? Oh, I'm so happy you're here. This is my first, well, this is not my first time on live. Let me not, you know, come up here and tell, not tell the truth. But this is the first time um, on live where hopefully nothing goes wrong. I think I have everything I need in order to start. So, all right, we're going to start. So, um, for those of you guys who do not know, let me formally introduce myself. Hey, Shanita, Nicole. Hey, boo. Hey. <clears throat> Um, thank y'all for, for tuning in. I'm late, but thank y'all so much for tuning in. So let me formally introduce myself. My name is Javaya. I am the founder and owner of Gifting Hands by Javaya, where I specialize in dye sublimation, and I also sell dye sublimation blanks, okay? So I also sell finished goods for the customers, for my consumers, my clientele, and I also sell blanks for those of you guys who... Um, uh, specialize in dye sublimation as well okay i've been in the industry for about four and a half years i was mentored by a dye sublimation expert in the industry with over 30 years of experience so i am very knowledgeable and very passionate about this industry so i am here to share my knowledge to extend and help it a helping hand 
um, for our newbies, our newcomers that are trying to learn about diet sublimation. So I'm your girl. I'm here. What's up? What's good? I am 31. I'm from New Jersey. I'm a mom. I'm a wife. I have two degrees. Um, yeah, that's me. Hey, y'all. Hey. So we're going to get started, okay? So today's um, tutorial is going to be about wood, diet sublimation wood. Um, and I know I've been in the industry for a while and I know that a lot of people have been trying to figure out ways to sublimate wood. Some people were trying to laminate wood. Some people were using polyacrylics, going to Home Depot and Lowe's and buying the polyacrylic and trying to do it that way. And I'm here to tell y'all that I have a better solution. Okay. Work smarter and not harder. So. Um, is there a way to mirror up here, y'all? Okay, I don't know how to, this YouTube world is not my thing, but um, here it is. I have this dye sublimation panel. I'm promoting Father's Day items right now. So most of the items that y'all going to see today is for Father's Day. However, you can repurpose them for other occasions as well. Um, but this is dye sublimation wood. Okay, very nice. Oh, Lenny up here? I didn't even see Lenny up here. Lenny up here? Tosh Tim is up here? Hey, y'all. I didn't even see y'all come through. Thanks for tuning in, y'all. I appreciate that so much. I didn't even see y'all come in. What's up, sis? Okay, so um, I didn't even see y'all come in. So this is the, excuse me, dye sublimation wood. And it's double-sided, so you can get full prints. Um, this is called the Dad Masterpiece. It is very similar to the Grad Masterpiece that I have released for grad season. But, but again, you can repurpose it for um, any occasion that you want. The only difference is that um, it's wood. Now, y'all can get into these colors. Y'all see how nice it is. This is sublimation wood, okay? It is ready to sublimate. It has a nice smooth surface. Let me see if I can show y'all. I don't have any panels here. But it has a nice smooth surface and it is professionally coated with the coating that is for dye sublimation, which is polymer. Now, I'm not going to get into um, too much details about this product because got to maintain some exclusiveness around these parts. But um, just know that it is made for dye sublimation and it is USA made. Okay? Oh. Cause you do have, you do have followers and I love you. Oh, thanks, thanks baby girl. My daughter gave me this, y'all. She wanted me to show you guys what she made for me. But it's not for you, it's for people and followers. It's for the people and in the, in the, in our, in our supporters. Okay, so she said that and, this is and, for you guys. And for you too. And for me too. Okay, so this is for all of us, okay? Thanks Jayla. Okay, I appreciate it. So, um, and so today, I'm going to show you how you can sublimate the wood. It is very simple. Um, we're go I'm going to be recreating this, but using a different image. This is of my dad, and this is a mosaic. Did I pronounce it right this time, y'all? Mosaic. Mosaic. Thank you, little lady. No problem. Um. This is a mosaic made out of wood. So for those of y'all that follow me on TikTok, y'all seen that I have made a tile one using the uh, sublimation ceramic tiles. But this time we made wood and this is of my dad. He passed away and I miss him so much. His birthday is coming up May 28th and I get very, very sentimental around this time. And I say to myself and I be try to be off social media unless I'm, um, you know, trying to promote myself, but yeah, this time is crazy. And this is my parents, my mom and my dad, and I also made another one. Again, this is the dye sublimation wood. So it 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 uh, sublimates super, super beautiful, but it gives that that um vintage -y look because it's wood, right? But what I'm trying to show you guys is that you get a nice smooth finish. This is absolutely beautiful. And um I have the panels at two two inches because you know, just in case dads or whomever is going to be receiving one, they want to place it at their desk. It's not something that's overpowering. It'll be super, super cute. 
and nice. With this one, um, I was just testing it out, playing around. I had got this frame from Michaels. It's the four by six. And all I did literally just playing around, trying to see what I wanted to do is I took the glass piece out of it, removed the uh, frame base, and then I used the backing to adhere my wood panels. And that's why it's like this. But um, if you guys order the blanks, you have the option to <clears throat> get a backing like this where you can adhere the panels to the backing. Like this. It looks exactly like this. It's nice and thick and it's sturdy. Hi, Patrice. Hello. Welcome to my live. We're on TikTok, so keep coming from TikTok. Okay, okay. I appreciate y'all being here with me this evening. Um, if you guys go to my website, giftinghandsbyjavaya.com, and you are interested in the mosaic frames, you have the um, the option to remember to hit the like. Okay, yes, remember to hit the like button, y'all. Um, you have the option to get the backing or not get the backing. Um, the reason why I gave the option is because, like I said, you can go to any store, purchase a frame, and you can actually frame these as well. So you have that option if you want to frame it. So let me show you real quick. Of course, you will take the glass piece out, slide that in, and of course you want to make sure that it fits and then it can be framed. Oh, this frame is filthy. I'm sorry guys, but all right. Or you could just leave it out of the frame. <coughs> sorry, you can leave it out of the frame and leave it like this. So let's get started. I already printed out for those who just came in, um, I'm showing you guys how you can sublimate uh, the wood that I offer. This is this is indeed sublimation wood. It is made for sub for dye sublimation. Also, the true terminology um, to this technique is dye sublimation. A lot of people have been asking me, is there a difference between the two, between dye sublimation and sublimation? Dye sublimation is the true terminology. The reason being is because you are essentially transferring dye. The dye in this case is the ink. The ink also is known as the gas. It goes through three stages. Dye sublimation process goes through three stages. It starts as a solid, then it turns into a gas. It does not pass through the liquid stage. It goes back to a um, solid stage, which will be your finished product. So the reason why it's called dye sublimation is because you're transferring dye permanently using heat to a polymer coated surface okay so now let's get started oh i didn't even show you guys this is the wood keychain the wooden keychain okay and i had made this of my dad and my mom so we're going to recreate this oh my god i love it thanks yes that's the, that's the reason why it's called dye sublimation, guys. We are transferring dye permanently onto a polymer-coated surface. The key ingredient in um, this whole entire process is polymer. The way that the dye sublimation ink was designed was for it to bond to the polymer. Hence, why we have to use polycholate or polyester uh, garments, okay? But that's for a different video today okay just want to drop a little bit of gems in case y'all didn't know so we're going to start off with this wood keychain um i know that a lot of men and guys in general they like wood stuff so i was like you know what let's let's come up with some wood ideas so we're going to do this keychain first okay this is two inches it comes like this it is double-sided it is also available on my website you will receive your template um once you purchase your blanks and um you will be able to fit your design perfectly um so that nothing gets cut off with this little hole here okay you will also receive the hardware to it like this all right so and you honestly really don't need a template you just it's two inches you um, make your images 2.2 by 2.2 and call it a day Okay, so here I have my um, my image. This is what I'm doing. This is a picture of my mom and my dad This is when they were younger 
my mom looks like me or I look like my mom. <laughs> and then on the other side, this is them a few months before my dad passed away. So it's um, youngin' days and then older days. And I hope she don't kill me because... And all I'm doing is I'm aligning my design up. You can see that I have this extra bleed room here. We like to make our images slightly larger than our actual substrate just so that we can ensure that we have full coverage, okay? Um, if anybody is interested to know what type of printer I have, I know I get that question a lot. I have the Sawgrass SG-1000 dye sublimation printer, and I also have the Epson Short Color F570 24-inch dye sublimation printer, okay? Tap, uh, take this down. I am using the Wallace Sub sublimation paper today, which I love. You can get that from um, Heat Transfer Warehouse. After this video, I will leave the link down below in the description. I'm going to bring y'all closer to, so that y'all can see. So... Let me get this chair and then let me bring y'all closer this way. Beautiful parents, rip that. Thank you, sis. Appreciate that. Actually, let me bring y'all this way. I miss him so much. I miss him so much. He was the funniest person on this earth, y'all. Hopefully, that's a good. I hope that's a good angle for y'all. So let's see. Oh, psych. <laughs> yeah, if my um thing fell. I'm sorry, y'all. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. My um my tripod fell. Can y'all see me? Oh. Okay. Can y'all is this better? Um, why is it saying this? Rotate. Can y'all see? It's fine. It happens. Okay. Is this a good angle for y'all? Oh my goodness. Cause I don't know why. PJ, this thing said that is locked. You want this chair? Why does it say that is locked? It's in portrait mode. Is that? Push, wait, what they said? They said, push us back a little bit. Like that? It's okay? Okay, we good. But my screen has this lock button on it. Look at P. There you go. <laughs> Why well, I got that, that lock button up there? Do dream on sending love and strength. Thanks. Oh, we'll yeah, rotate the device back. But it's rotated. If I do it this way, orientation is locked. <laughs> oh, okay. You have to rotate it back. I did rotate. <laughs> I, this is, see, this is when I'm, if Android click, no, I have an iPhone, but I think we good. Yeah, that should be good now. P, look, it's leaning. Look, 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 look. <laughs> yeah, that's why I put the chair. I put the chair in. Okay. Yeah. This is crazy right here. This is some crazy mess right something here. Steady. There you Look go. at that, like that. All right. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Lord have mercy. Okay. Hey, you too, gang. Ah, PJ over here looking like somebody's grandfather. Let me hear it come. Relax. Wow. Old self. All right. So I'm going to take a piece of butcher paper. I get from Amazon. That's a little piece. Nothing too crazy. And. I'm gonna put this down. I taped, taped it. He press is set to 400 degrees. We're gonna press for um, 60 seconds with light to medium pressure. Don't do him. P is P look like P look like he been um. <laughs> P look like he been struggling all his life. I know. 
I be, I be, me and Pete be having a good old time I'm over saying. here. He be cracking jokes on me too, cause I, I be looking like, um, again. I be looking crazy myself. I just crazy I ain't get no haircut yet. That's all. Whatever. Don't be hating. Whatever. Don't hate me cause I'm beautiful. All right, so I got my, ew, I got my handy dandy gloves. We gonna let this bad boy press, and then we gonna do the other side. Okay, lift this up. Um, I don't cover my sublimation substrates when I'm sublimating. The reason being is because dye sublimation, um, it needs heat, heat and a certain amount of pressure. Not too much pressure, not depending on the type of substrate. Um, if I was supply, a, a supply, I'm not supply, if I was to place another layer of butcher paper or parchment paper on top of my uh, substrate, it is going to give me pressure, but it's going to prevent the, the most heat that I can get. And that is something that I have learned from Michael Kaminsky, who is my, um, who was my, uh, mentor with the 30 years of experience. This came out gorgeous. So I'm not, I don't get too concerned with my top platen being dirty. It, it does, it will get dirty. It will get dirty if you put butcher paper on top of your surface. Um, whether you do that or not, it's still going to get dirty and it still needs to be clean. So I use Easy All Cleaner um, Supply. Um, what's this called? Easy All Cleanse. You can get it from Amazon. And this is what this looks like. Mom is cut off because that's the way the actual picture was, but that's what it looks like printed on the wood. Cute. All right, and now I'm gonna do the other side. Just align this up. <clears throat> Two pieces of tape. YouTube is so different. Like, I can't listen to no music up here. All my YouTube gurus, um, Sh um, Shanita, Patrice, we can't listen to no music up here. This is the other side. I'm going to be sublimating 400 degrees for 60 seconds, light to medium pressure. Top chat. <laughs> PJ is crazy, y'all. No ma'am, no music. See that? See, I'm going to need for you two to get it together. So while this other side is baking, let me show you the other Father's Day gift that I have. Okay. This is a saw blade with a hammer. Everything is sublimated. Okay. It affects your monetization. I'm not, I'm not at the monetization part yet, y'all. I'm trying to get there. But this is cute. Y'all see this? And I have the wrench one as well. It says, you nailed being a dad. Happy Father's Day. So I thought that was pretty dope, pretty cute. Right? I need a company to sponsor me because I'm tired of coming up with some bomb ideas. And getting paid. Thank you. Thanks, y'all. I'm just playing. Don't, don't mind me. I just be. I'll be playing around, y'all. I'll be playing around. Candy, dandy, glow. This is noise. Woo! It's hot, though. Okay, what y'all said? <clears throat> That's cute. Thank you. You have bomb ideas. Thanks, sis. Um, oh, I need that for my... Yes, construction man. Yes, please show your girl some love, y'all. So this is the other side. Like this. And I'm actually going to actually give it to my mom. I wish her picture... I wish the actual picture didn't cut her off so much. <clears throat> but... That's them. Young days, old days, rip, rip dad, rip dad. And to put it together, it is so simple, literally so simple. You get the uh, little ring here, this piece, 
and it fits perfectly inside the hole. And it's just, you know, you can get any kind of um, keychain from anywhere, right, y'all? But to give it that extra pizzazz, um, would like, come on, y'all. We got to start thinking outside the box. You know what I'm saying? It's so beautifully. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Wood. No laminates, no polyacrylics, no nothing. Okay, so now let's go on to the mosaic. This is the mosaic, okay? Right now it's very bendable. It's almost like a puzzle, right? But it's going to be a frame made out of wood, out of two-inch panels that we are going to make into a frame that stands up. Now, if you know me, excuse me, if you know me, you know I like to uh, be a little bit different and, um, you know, just come up with something that's fire, that's dope, that people will like, okay? So, let's get to it. Now, this one right here is a six by six. So, what I did was, oh, you know what? I could do the keychain over because the picture, the, this is the actual picture that picture of my mom from the keychain. So I could do it over. I cut her off too much. So I'm gonna do this over because look, she's in there. So I don't know what happened, but I'm gonna do this over. But I'm gonna take this picture. I size the 6.2 inches by 6.2 inches. Hey, Keeks. My sis up here, this is 6.2 by 6.2. Again, remember, when we're working with dye sublimation, we like to give ourselves that extra bleed room so we can have that full coverage, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, because it's six inches by six inches, right? Minus the uh, 0 0.2 inches for bleed. That means that I'm going to need nine two inch wood panels, okay? Let me bring y'all closer so that y'all can see. Okay. Hi, mommy. Get my handy dandy heat tape. So what I'm gonna do is, all I'm doing is aligning my panels up carefully slowly this honestly is the hardest part onto my image okay just like so you want to take your time with this part because when it finished pressing you want everything to be aligned up nicely all right so take your time. If you need to move it so that you can see better, make sure you go ahead and do what you have to do to make sure these panels are lined up. Okay? Chrissy! Someone said, can you zoom out a little bit? Zoom out. Someone asked me to zoom in. Do y'all need me to zoom out? Can't see it. Is that good? Come go back just a little more. Back up more? Just a little bit. Okay, hold on. I might have to bring that back like that. Is that good, guys? That's good right there. Okay, I had y'all too close. I'm sorry. I was trying to make sure y'all get a good angle. But you get my gift. You, all you want to see, you want to make sure that all of your lines and everything are lined up together. Okay? Just like so. And you will do this if you're working with the tiles as well. The only difference between the wood and the tiles is that the wood you will flip over so your transfer will be on top and your substrates will be on the bottom. When you are working with ceramics and um, slates, you will press backwards, okay? So if you're working with the slate or ceramic tile, you will press exactly like this with the transfer on the bottom and the uh, tiles on top. So 
Ceramic is a poor conductor of heat, right? So it takes more time for uh, the sublimation process with the ceramics and the, uh, and the slates. And the reason why we press backwards is because we need to make sure that everything is sublimated nicely, meaning around the grooves around the curves and things like that. I'll show y'all in another video what I mean, but there's a reason why we press backwards for certain substrates. Okay, so all I'm doing is making sure that all of my lines, lines are aligned up nicely. I am gonna bust out the tape. I'm gonna I'm a pull a Chrissy move with the tape, okay? My girl Chrissy is definitely one of those ones that's keeping the heat resistant tapes in business. Okay? Because with me, I like to use two pieces and call it a day. But depending on the type of project I'm working with, you are going to need some, some tape. Like the, the larger projects, you are going to be use, needing some tape. And for this project, you are going to be using, needing a little bit uh, extra tape as well. So now that I have everything aligned, I'm gonna take a piece of heat resistant tape and I'm gonna first align it across my first layer because I need to make sure that they stay in place, okay? And with this one, I prefer to use a thicker um, tape. I think this is like one and a half inch, if, I, um, if I'm not mistaken. Then I'm going to take another piece and vertically Align it down, not align it down, place it down. I'm gonna do uh, the same for the other side, take a vertical piece of tape. And you can do it however, you know, which way you feel is going to work best for you. This way seems to work good for me. And then I'm gonna take another piece horizontally and place, all I'm doing is covering my lines <clears throat> where the panels meet up. I'm gonna bring the camera closer so that y'all can so that y'all can see it as well. <clears throat> Cause y'all probably like, what is she doing? Once I have like my base part secured, that's when I will go in and secure the actual panels itself to the transfer. And again, y'all want to make sure y'all take y'all time with this. There's no need to rush. Charge it to your price for labor, labor time costs, okay? <clears throat> so Chrissy, I did pull a Chrissy today with the tape. So this is what it's looking like right now. I don't know if y'all can see. So I got tape going across this line right here, this line right here, this line right here, this line right here, and then two pieces to secure the edges along with the transfer. All right? And you could, you know what? I'm going to add another piece at the top and at the bottom just for extra security. And because Chrissy is here, so Chrissy, okay? My girl Chrissy be using a whole bunch of tape for her projects. Somebody need to sponsor her. One of them tape companies need to sponsor her. All right, there we go. We are ready to go. So now, like I said, with the wood panels and the hardboard, I think I should have moved this up some. I think I'm gonna move it up some. So I'm gonna move this up some. So I said, take your time with this. I'm gonna move this up just a little bit. Just a tad. <clears throat>
I'm sorry. I'm just using my eyeballs to make sure everything is aligned. Okay. So with this, again, transfer is facing down, substrate is facing upwards. We are going to press at 400 degrees for 60 seconds. Um, that's too much pressure. Uh, light to medium pressure. These are very um, small and thin, lightweight panels. So it don't need too much pressure. And let me see. While that's cooking, I'm gonna show y'all some more items that we have for Father's Day. This is another saw. This is the hand saw one. And this one says, Dad, you saw the importance of family and always puts us first. We love you with three photos of PJ. This is the kids. This is PJ. He looks sharp here. All right. So he cleaned up nice when he's not looking like somebody's grandfather. And then this is the other one that I did not put on my um, website yet. It is a record player. I don't know if y'all can see the record player design. Record player design, picture in the middle, and then um, it has the name of the song. You could put a QR code if you want so it can play, but I thought that was cute. I, it's a coaster, but it's not going to be a coaster. It's going to be a stand. So that's another idea, and I will show you more once we finish doing this. So I love it. Thanks, Chrissy. <clears throat> so now... Literally, you print, you press, you peel, and if you are going to be selling this, you are profiting, okay? That is the four piece to success with dye sublimation. You can also apply it to garment printing, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Print, press, peel, and profit. Okay, so now y'all gonna see up and close and personal the reveal of this beautiful wood mosaic. Okay, and remember this picture is a very old picture. My mother was 19. I wasn't even born yet. She was 19 in this picture. Okay. Get my gloves. Get my gloves. Get my gloves. <clears throat> Y'all's ready? Give me a drum roll, please. Drum roll, please. Actually... Hold on, let me get this out the way. Look at how cute that came out. You can make a lot of money with this wood, I'm telling you. Can we say money up here or we got to say um, cookies? Like we got to say on YouTube. I mean, on um, TikTok. Can we say money or we got to say cookies or donuts? <clears throat> we could say money. Because <laughs> TikTok is so sensitive, we can't say nothing up there. I think my um my video is a little bit delayed, y'all, because y'all's comments is coming in a little bit on the late side. But this is what we looking. This is how we looking. Y'all see that? And this is dye sublimation wood, professionally made in the USA. Okay. I'm not. I don't really like to do too many hacks or anything with this because sublimation dye sublimation is science. And um, if we are business owners, we want to make sure that our customers are getting the best quality always, right? Quality, professionalism, and responsiveness is key to successful and sustainable businesses. So we want to make sure that we are providing the highest quality of products to our customers. Customer retention is key. We want to retain our customers. We want them to, be, to become clients, right? So I like to stick to... Um, doing things the right way. 
I have no clue what a donut sounds delicious right now. Chrissy, be quiet, Chrissy. You know on TikTok, we can't say money on TikTok. We can't say money on TikTok. So now, I'm going to show y'all one more thing. It's going to be the same exact picture, but for the sake of... Um, color difference i want to show you the difference in color because it's still going to be super super nice right so that was with the wood this time we are going to do the hardboard that i offer okay i got nine of these one two three four five six seven eight nine okay all of these have protect clear protective film so you want to go in and remove the film all of the gifted hands by javaya blanks have clear protective film except for the wood the wood do not have any clear protective film on it you can literally just print press pill and profit okay Courtesy of Michael Kaminsky, I got that from him as well. So if you guys don't know, Michael Kaminsky is um, the CFO of Sublimation 101 here in New Jersey and Branchburg. They are the largest display and training center on the East Coast when it comes to dye sublimation. I had the opportunity to work under him as a mentee. Now, some of the things I had to learn myself because, of course, Javaya didn't have industrial um, equipment. And so I have, you have to learn your equipment um, when, you're with, when you're working with dye sublimation with regards to temperatures and pressures and things of that nature. So even though I have learned um, quite a bit from Michael Kaminsky, I had to, there was still a learning curve that I had to figure out on my own. So, um, there's that, but I highly suggest you guys go check them out. They also have a really nice selection of blanks. A little bit on the expensive side, but it's always quality over quantity. And you are literally paying for what you get. That's how I see it. All right. So also what you want to do after you peel the film off, you want to go in and clean off your surface. So I'm just going to clean it off with... Um, a, a paper towel. <clears throat> Some people like to use like 99% alcohol and all of that good stuff. I like to use dry micro, um, fibers cloth because I don't, I don't want to have to wait for things to dry. And I'm going to do the same thing. Literally just align these up. So this is the hardboard panel. This is the white hardboard. that I offer and I'm just doing the same thing just aligning it up making sure the panels are close to perfectly aligned because nothing is perfect if y'all been following me on TikTok y'all already know what I be saying practice makes progress because nothing is perfect so practice makes progress but if you can get it close to perfect that's good too Get these lines up. I feel so weird without no music. Like, I like to vibe to music, yo. <clears throat> I like to vibe to the music. We almost there. We almost there. We almost there. We almost there. All right. So now I'm going to just use my eyeballs to align this up. As close, <clears throat> close to perfect as I possibly can. And again, like I said before, y'all, this is literally the most hardest part. It's not necessarily hard. It's tedious. It's tedious as hell. So charge it to the game. Make sure y'all, if y'all going to be making these, you add that labor cost and that price. Price and strategy 
It's something that I struggled with until I came across the um the crafting um calculator, and it's been a lifesaver. That craft calculator is a lifesaver. If you don't have that app, make sure y'all download that. <clears throat> and I'm just doing the same thing, just adding this tape in those um, areas, two vertical, two horizontal. Okay, and then now that I have all of that secured, I'm just going to add one, two, three, four pieces of tape on each corner. This time securing the um, panels to the actual transfer itself so it, it don't move. So I'm gonna be very careful now that everything is basically like one piece, using my eyeballs to secure it down like so. Move that over. <clears throat> and I really do like making these um these like mosaics more mur murals type of thing because they're so different. You don't really see too many people um making things like this. So we all know that dye supplement the dye sublimation industry is a very cutthroat industry. I hate to say this word, but it is very saturated, and everybody is making literally the same thing. So um, it is very demanding industry. So what I like to do is I like to try to come up with ideas um, to be a little bit different so that I could bring to the community so that the community can start, you know, offering something that's different than what everybody, what a lot of people is doing right now. So we are ready to press 400 degrees, 60 seconds, light to medium pressure. And actually... I'm actually gonna lift this up right quick and make it, give it a little bit more pressure. There we go. Hopefully that ain't make, mess nothing up. Ain't mess nothing up. So for Father's Day, I also have this right here. I wish I knew how to mirror this, but this is Hooked on Daddy. It's for our, our fishermen out there that like to fish and be outdoors. So I sublimated, this is a five by seven hardboard panel. I sublimated the picture, I sublimated the wooden graphic, and I sublimated the text here. But the uh, fishing rod is a cutout piece like this. Y'all see that? And so is the fish. So depending on how many kids the person has will determine how many little fishies um, you will have up there. And of course, your creativity um, is yours. This is just a sample that I have done. Ouch. Um, I'm too close to this heat press. <laughs> a sample that I had did to show you guys what you can do with it. That is done. So if y'all like this, let me know. I thought this was really cute. And I don't know if I should show the other one because I don't know um, if you guys are going to just... I don't know. I have a sense of humor. I don't know the level of, of humor that you guys have up here, but I guess I'll just um, save it for another day. Okay, y'all ready for this? I'm nervous. Cause why I look like, oh, that's just the picture. All right, so I'm just gonna um, tear it away like this. Oh, this, ooh, this is nice. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. All right, now. So let me um tear this away today, just so that y'all can see. If y'all hear my baby crying in the background, PJ got her. She she don't want to go to bed. She wants to stay up late, but it's school tomorrow, and she's not a big girl. She's only four. <clears throat> Okay, so y'all ready to see this one? And then I'm going to bring y'all back over to the work table so that y'all can see the difference in color. 
I'm over here trying to um trying to be cool and lift this up, but it's it's very hot. So this is the one with the regular hard um, hardboard panels. Super cute, super vibrant. I love it. This is a very old picture and it still looks good. This was actually a picture of a picture. So someone took a picture of this picture <laughs> and this is what it came out like. Super, super cute, super cute, super cute. Okay, and while I have you guys here, thank you. While I have you guys still here, I'm going to show you my collection because remember, graduation season is all year round, okay? Graduates are graduating. Graduates are graduating all year round, okay? So I don't want you guys to forget about our grads, our summer grads, our fall grass our winter grass okay so this is some of the collections that i have from my blinks collection for grass season make sure y'all check it out also for mother's day um i have some mother's day items here that is not only for mother's day it could be for birthdays it could be for um just because gifts it could be for anniversaries bridal showers you know you could repurpose these blinks I am promoting them for a spe specific occasion, but you can use them for any type of gifts. This one is the same one that I just showed you with the wood, but this is the grad one. You can see that I have some dimension going there. Super cute, super compact, beautiful to place on a desk. You know what I'm saying? This is the scroll card holder, so you can place money inside there. Once the grad takes their money out, it is a frame. Okay, this is a slate. <clears throat> Y'all see the slate right here? I'm gonna try to do a video to show you to show y'all why I press backwards. I press backwards with the slates and the ceramics. I'm gonna try to get a video out there soon to to, to show you guys why I do it that way. But if you guys look at these um, edges, that plays a part. There's no ghosting. There's no whiteness. That plays a part as to why I press backwards. But we have the grad um fan. Teachers appreciation is not only one month. You can give your teachers a whole bunch of gifts um, if you like, especially for end of the year. The school is almost over. Make sure you give the teachers their gifts, y'all. We have the sticky note holders with the pen. I have the erasers. Shanita Nicole did a video with the erasers and a mouse um, pad. So do dream on. Um, make sure y'all go check her video out. Okay, so I have a lot of things on my website for teachers. I also have 72 inch stoves blanks available. This one was my sample. I messed up right here, but um, practice makes progress, right? So make sure y'all go to my website. Excuse me, got a little nip slip there. La la. This is not Magic City, baby girl. Get it together. Um, make sure you go, you guys go check out my website, Get the Hands by Javaya. Okay? All right. So now, thanks, P. We're going to go to our work area right quick. And I'm going to show you how you can mount it, how you can mount these panels together. Anybody have any questions so far? Anything that I can answer? Okay, because y'all's y'all's quiet today. Y'all's quiet. Okay, here we go. My work area is a little bit on the messy side, y'all. Let's get it together. Let's get it together. I will definitely be hitting you up for some blanks. Yes, thank you. Let me know. This table is awful. <clears throat> Bills everywhere. All right, so let me get this together. Get this together. And um, for those of you guys who don't know, um, my blanks are produced and manufactured here in the USA. Um, why this thing ain't staying up? Hey, pig, come here. 
Okay, so um, y'all, I'm struggling over here with this tripod. Okay, so this is, I need your help. This ain't staying. Look. So this is the white panels and this is the wood. You want to hold it? I know, yeah. You want to see in here and hold that? Yeah, go ahead. But you got to lift it up so they can see. Okay, I got PJ helping me because I don't know what's going on with this tripod. But this one right here is the wood mosaic. Y'all see that? And this one is the white one. Okay, I actually like the wood better because it just gives it that more vintagey look, especially because this is an older picture. This was like taken in 1990. I was born in 91. I'm a young John out here in these streets. You feel me? Um, <clears throat> but both are super cute. So now, and this is my dad right here. This is the one we did for my dad. So now what I'm going to do is show you guys how to mount it to make it into an actual frame so that it won't be all um, movie like this, right? So if you go to my website and you order the panels with the backing, this is what the backing is going to look like. Okay, it's just a regular, nice, smooth, wooden back end. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be removing the, um, the heat resistant tape and also the 3M. The 3M is the double sided adhesive. <clears throat> and it's very, very strong and very durable. All right. So right now, I'm just removing the heat resistant tape that held everything together. And then you literally, you just, um, it's going to be like putting a puzzle piece together. Okay, get this out the way. Let's make some room. So here is our back end. I'm going to flip all of these over so I can see what I'm doing. What I'm doing, what I'm doing, what I'm doing. Okay. And I'm just, um, they can't see, babe. Just trying to get everything together so I can see where everything go. Just. I don't see her hand. You can't see what she's doing. Oh. Can they, can y'all, can they you see? see? You see now. Can you see mine now? Can you double check to see if you can see? Go back something. Can you can y'all see now? What about now? Can't see? Can't see? Oh, we can't. They can't see, babe. Yeah. You can see. Oh, YouTube is different. Oh, this table is filthy. Like that. Look at all of the spills. Okay. I'm sorry, y'all. It's it's weird. All right. So now I'm going to just remove the 3M. What's good now? Okay. And then just align you see, it. You see it, right? You just move it up. Where did this stand? There you go. I don't know. This is weird. I feel like I'm in the same spot. This YouTube um, stuff is, I can't, I don't know. Because from, from our angle, it looks good. But 
Oh, it's gonna go down. That's why. Yeah. Like that. But I don't want this table to be shown like no, that. It's, it's, it's weird. No, PJ, you gotta bring that up. I don't know. From our angle, like from me and PJ angle, it looks good. But from y'all angle, it's weird. Wait, we can't see shit. Know, what you doing? No, because if you pick it up, it's going to go down. That's what I'm talking about. See? Take it off and put it on your hand and do it down or something. Oh, my goodness. That's going to go. I'm sorry, y'all. I know it was a rocket science project to um get the angles right. Jesus Christ. I had everybody up in here. Mommy, my husband. Jesus Christ, it's Lord. A, it's, a, it's a tripod. Uh, don't try to blame it on my tripod. It's, it's your hand. It ain't my hand. It's, it's, it's a tripod. Hmm. Now, if you want, you can actually go in and add a little bit of extra um, secure, security with some 3M tape if you want. <clears throat> um, not 3M, um, E6000. All right. Just, you know, for extra security. You know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? Literally, all I'm doing is pulling away the um, 3M back end. Might you want this or nah? What's that? I keep it in my room. Hmm. Huh. I hang it up. Hmm. Huh. Huh. I bet you right after this picture, that's when I got that's when I got conceived. Cause my mama had me literally when she was twenty, and she was nineteen in this picture. Husband to the rescue. That's right, cause that tripod was what it doing right <clears throat> Okay. See, so it's literally like putting a puzzle piece together. Pill and stick. Pill and stick. I have to turn it my, this way so I can see. There's something going on over here that I'm not feeling. Right over here. I'm going to have to do that over. Okay. Pill. A line like so. I wonder what daddy had on in this video. I wonder if this was like Kooji or Fubu or something. I said in this video, I meant to say this picture. <clears throat> And everything should fit perfectly. Check it. I don't know. It's like this one is hanging off a little bit. Okay, there we go. I'm not gonna offer this um, this easel back in because it's too complex to put together. I'm gonna offer a different type of uh, back end to give to y'all if y'all interested. But just place it and then you have your stands. Oops. Can I go back a little bit? I'm just gonna that. You can see. I don't like this stand though. Okay, there we got it. We have our mirror. I don't like this stand. I'm taking that off. 
but there we have we have our mural our mosaic picture um frame beautiful made out of dye sublimation wood beautiful Okay. And like I was showing you guys before, this one's it's hooked on daddy with the little fishing rod and the fish. This for me. That should be my picture up there. This is nice. Love it. So cute. I love that. And... hot. <clears throat> this is the other one that I have. The saw blade with the wrench. It's the same thing as the hammer one. It just has a wrench base. Watch out, Jay. Watch out, Jay. Can I see this? So super cute. Everything is sublimated. Nice. Like so. This one, can I see that? Super nice. So cute. It's a handsome man right there. So cute. Got that. It's a shark. It's not a real one, baby girl. It's a fake one. It's a fake one. It's a fake one, girlfriend. I know you want to me. Oh, I know. I'm tired. Yeah, it's time for bed. This is the other one. Whoops. Sorry. <clears throat> this is the dad one. This wood right here is not sublimation wood, y'all. The only part that you are sublimating on this frame is the actual heart. But the dad can be stained if you like. You can go in with some permanent vinyl and add some extra text if you like. It's a lot of space here for you to add some text. So that's another one. I also, um, we have a new design coming out for grilling. For those dads that like to be on the grill, the grill masters. Um, we have something else coming out tonight for y'all with that. But where's the other dad, other dad one? Oh, here we go. So I had a mom frame one for Mother's Day. And of course, our people's asked for a dad one. So here we go. Oh, babe, back up a little bit so they can see. So here's the dad one, okay? Y'all see that? The dad one is smaller than the mom one, but it is still super cute. So you will sublimate on each of these panels, whatever you like. And it says dad. I showed it already. Okay, so we got that. And the wooden keychains. We can't forget about that. I'm gonna do this one over because mommy face is like completely cut out. I wasn't paying attention, but the wooden keychains are super cute. And it doesn't only have to be pictures. It can be um, like a scripture. You know what I'm saying? It could be a picture. It could be a scripture. It could be whatever you want. It's just on wood. And I think wood is just something that's so like chic and elegant and top tier. I absolutely love it. I love this. I love this right here. Um, do I have anything else for Father's Day? What else do I have for Father's Day? Oh. Should I? Okay, guys. So this is going to be for um, gag gifts, okay? Gag gifts. Gag, G-A-G. So I have a sense of humor, and I thought these were super, super cute um, to offer. It's a female squirt squirt and a male squirt squirt. It got the little bow, and it got the little cap. And, you know, just for those um, who wants to laugh. All right, so there you go. You can sublimate it, put it on a frame and call it a day. Um, add the little kid's name up there. You know what I'm saying? It's just, just to be funny. Nothing too crazy. So there we have that. And that is all. That is all I have for Father's Day today, y'all. 
Do um anybody have any questions, concerns, anything that anybody would like to ask me about any of the products that they have seen today on live? For the saw, um, I have the blank itself and I have the actual design template that is sold separately. The design is already sized to fit the Gifted Hands by Javaya Blank. You will just have to go in and add your images and add your own text along the bottom. Um, yeah. And if you don't want any pictures, I also provide the actual uh, design of the handsaw by itself. So the handle with the wooden piece and then the silver piece as a solid base. Y'all go ahead and y'all go to my website, Get the Hands by Javaya. Check us out. We have some really amazing blanks um, available. Awesome. Square what square one? The big dad in the middle with the front and the back. That. Oh. That. And this was the other one, y'all. Supplemented on wood. That's fire. You can see that? Mm -hmm. Got some dimensions. And then it is double sided. So I just added the picture of the kids and a little message. Put your hand getting tired. And this right here, this, you could do whatever you want. I just thought it was cute to have dad there and just, you know, add PJ's little pictures up there. It was some cute little, but it could be scriptures. It could be certain messages. All of these panels could be pictures, whatever you want. Hold your hand still, sir. Yeah, I'm trying to let everybody see. Okay, so that is all for today, guys. Thank you, PJ. Come on. Hi, that is all for today. Anybody have any questions, concerns, anything that you'd like to ask me? Love it. You do great work. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate you tuning in. Thank you for tuning in. Appreciate it. Appreciate it so much. I actually really love what I do, too, y'all. I really do have a passion for this, so... Passion will ultimately bring in the profit, but I always tell people in my community to just, um, you know, make sure you love what you do first. If you're just in it for the money, it ain't going to work out. So make sure you like actually love what you do and then your passion will eventually become your profit. So anybody have any questions or concerns or anything that they would like to ask me? Thank you, Patrice. Thank you so much. I feel so honored to have y'all up here like you and Shanita and you know all of the people up here I appreciate y'all so much I'm with you I've been doing this since 2015 yes yes that's a long time it's a long time yes 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 I love it I absolutely love it I love and I love to learn new things too and you know just experiment so um, but that's it for tonight, guys. So if there's there aren't any questions or any concerns for tonight, I'm going to leave. I'm going to head up out of here. I have some other work that I got to get done for a birthday party. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys what I have. Introduce myself. Introduce me as a new blank supplier. And um, I'm happy that y'all came through tonight. So let me know if y'all have any questions. Send me an email. Send me a DM. Whatever you like. And I will definitely get to y'all. So. I hope you guys have a great evening. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bye-bye.